Now we're gonna cover the unconscious child choking for the healthcare professional. In this scene setup, we had a conscious child who was choking, but we didn't get the obstruction out in time, and so they went unresponsive. After we helped lower them to the ground, we took advantage of that time that if we had not already called EMS or called 911 or a code, we're gonna do so now. Hey, you in the plaid shirt, go call 911 and come back. Bring an AED with you if you find one. And then we're gonna go into our responsiveness. The child does not respond, they are not breathing normally. So I go right into my chest compressions, right between the breasts on the lower third of the sternum. I'm gonna go approximately a third of the depth of the chest and I'm gonna compress at a rate between 100 and 120 times per minute. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and nine and 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. I now come up, I do a head tilt chin lift and I look in the mouth. If I don't see anything, I'm gonna attempt a rescue breath. Nothing goes in. I reposition the head again with a chin down, chin back up and try again, but nothing goes in. I repeat those 30 chest compressions. After the 30 chest compressions, I look in the mouth and if I see something, I'm gonna go in after it. Pull the object out and now attempt my rescue breath. Breath went in. Second breath went in. Now is when I'm going to check for a carotid pulse. I assess for the carotid pulse in the same location that I did for the adult, between the uh, trachea and the sternocleidomastoid muscle, right on the carotid artery. I check for no more than 10 seconds. Now, if the patient did not have a heartbeat or a pulse, we would go straight into CPR with 30 compressions and two rescue breaths. If they do have a pulse but are simply not breathing or not breathing normally, we're gonna give one rescue breath every three seconds and we're gonna do this for two minutes. After two minutes of rescue breaths, we're gonna check for a carotid pulse. Again, no more than 10 seconds on the pulse check. If at that time they still have a pulse but are not breathing, we're gonna continue rescue breathing. If they don't have a pulse, they're not breathing, we're gonna go into full CPR and give them 30 compressions to two rescue breaths, and we're gonna do that until EMS arrives, an AED arrives, or my patient responds and revives.